Hi, my name is Vera Chikeze, okay, and I'm the sexologist for Wholesome Sexuality. Have you subscribed? Have you liked? Just in case um, you know how YouTube does it, if you stumble upon this video, I love you to subscribe because we have clean sexual content. You are assured of learning and reading about sex in a wholesome way, the way God intended it. Now subscribe. about something really interesting and it's been quite mind-boggling but I thought I should do a video concerning it to help some people here yeah that's what we do I need to help a lot of people now we're going to be talking about experience versus expertise experience versus expertise as regards to sex so you have people say um, I don't want to marry a virgin because um, I'm not, I, I'm not, I, don't want to, I don't want to be the one to start teaching or educating what to do and not what not to do, right? You get people that say, ah, I want to marry someone that has had sex well so that the, because the person will be an expert. Can I shock you? Experience doesn't necessarily mean experts. Experience doesn't necessarily mean expertise. The fact that you've had sex multiple times with different people does not mean you are an expert in sex matters. It doesn't mean that you are an expert with your spouse. The fact that you've had sex with different people does not mean that you would be an expert with your spouse. And I will give you good reasons. Number one reason would be the person you are having sex with before you got married might not end up being your spouse. The person could be me mediocre. The person will just, could just be um, anything goes. And you get married to a spouse that demands sex, that demands it to perfection. Now you turn out to be the one that is not an expert. I know it could be depressing, right? The fact that you've had sex with multiple people or even one person before you got married doesn't mean that you are an expert. You can only become an expert in a particular field. But when it comes to sex, you can only become an expert with one person, and that's your spouse. I'm taking that based on scriptural basis. The Bible says that you should have sex with your own spouse. So that's the person you should be discovering, the person you should be doing um, discovery with, the person you should be gaining expertise with, right? Because you are concentrating on one person. So you had sex with somebody before, and then you try having sex with another person based on the knowledge of the other person you had sex with you would be digging yourself a pit. You will be digging a pit for yourself because human beings are different. Human beings are different. Human beings react to sex differently. Human beings react to or give sex differently. So the fact that you've had an experience does not necessarily make you an expert. So for those that go about saying, ah, I don't want to marry somebody that has no experience, so I can, ah, I can't, I can't, I won't, I blah, I blah, I blah, blah, blah. Let me shock you right now. The fact that you are experienced does not make you an expert. All the experiences you've been gathering is null and void when you come into marriage with your spouse. So you're going to start all afresh. You're going to start from the beginning. You're going to start from 101, class 101, which is body parts. That's where you're going to start from. And you start building, start building, start building, start building until you, you really, the, you, the truth is that you really don't even become an expert. Because when it seems like you've gotten so used to this person, the person changes. We're human beings, we evolve. The person changes. 
So when it seems like, oh, you're beginning to get used to this person, you're beginning to become a perfect person or a perfect lover on this person, the person changes. So the person liked um, oral sex yesterday. And then two months down the line, you realize that oral sex was your spouse's thing and you just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Two months down the line, it begins to irritate your spouse. It's not your spouse's fault. He or she just changed and grew and wants something different. So for those that go about screaming because you have, with your body counts, you carry your full chest, you've had three, four, five experiences. Ah, I'm preparing myself. When I get married, I will show my spouse. I will show my spouse skills. Wake up, repent, repent and do it God's way. Experience does not necessarily mean expertise. See you in the next video.